Welcome back to satdecoded.com. Today I want to continue talking about nested functions, but this is a little bit of a twist to the previous video on nested functions. So in this question, they tell us that f of x equals 2x minus 3 and g of x equals f of x minus 5. The difference between this question and the previous video questions is that in this question, we have an f of x as part of the g of x. In the previous videos, the g of x would only have a normal x here, not an f of x. So let's say the question in this particular one is asking for g of f of 5. And they want to find out the value of this whole nested function. Well, again, we have to do the inside functions first. So let's first find out what g of 5 equals. According to our master formula for the function of g, we have to use this. So the input is 5, so we're going to take that and replace it right here. So g of 5 actually equals f of 5 minus 5. That's not solved yet, though, because now we have f of 5. And we actually have to find out the value of f of 5 first before we know what the value of g of 5 is. So let's do that right here f of 5. So the input for f of 5 right here is the 5. And because it's a f function, we have to use the master formula for the f function. So f of 5 is going to be 2 times 5 minus 3, which is 10 minus 3, which is 7. So f of 5 equals 7. So now we can go back to our g of 5, which equals 7 minus 5 f of 5 we found out was 7, so all I did was replace it down here, which 7 minus 5 is 2. So now we know g of 5 is 2. But all we've solved so far is the inside portion. Notice how many levels or how many tiers and steps this question has. Now that we found out uh, g of 5 is equal to 2, we can replace the g of 5 with a 2. So the question is really just asking for what is the value of f of 2. So again, since it's the f function, we have to use this one up here. So the input right now is 2, so we do 2 times 2 minus 3. So 2 times 2 minus 3 is 4 minus 3, which is 1. And 1 is our final answer. Hope that makes sense. Let's try uh, one more. So let's say we have f of x equals g of x. Actually, let's make it a little harder. f of x equals 2gx plus 1. And let's say g of x equals x squared minus 2. Now, the question might ask us something like, um, what is f of g of 3? So we have to find out the inside function first, g of 3. So let's do that right here. g of 3 equals what? Well, g of 3, we have to use this master formula down here. So the input right now is 3, so we'll replace that where the x is. So 3 squared minus 2 equals 9 minus 2, which is 7. So g of 3 is 7. Well, now we have to plug it back in up here. So g of 3 is 7, so f of g of 3 is really f of 7. So what in the world is f of 7? Well, we got to use our master formula for the f function now. So f of 7 actually equals um, f of 7. So the 7 is going to replace the x right here. So f of 7 equals 2g of 7 plus 1. This 2 in front of the g of 7 just means 2 times whatever g of 7 comes out to be. So let's find out what g of 7 is first. So g of 7 is, according to our formula down here, going to be 7 squared minus 2, because 7 is our input, so that goes where the x is. So that is 49 minus 2. So 49 minus 2 is 47. So this 47 we can replace right here. So this whole thing just equals 2 times 47 plus 1. And if you have a calculator, you can calculate what 2 times 47 is. I don't have a calculator, so I'm just going to do it by hand, um, 94. 
So 94 plus 1 equals 95. And that is our final answer to our original, original question, f of g of 3. Notice how many layers nested functions has. It's not just two layers. Occasionally, it might be three, four, five layers. You just have to keep doing the question until you solve each and every layer. Functions is really a game of replacement. Once you find out what one function is, you replace it, and then you solve another function. You get that value, and you replace it again and again and again until you complete the question. So good luck, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.